America has proven that the capitalistic system can work. I'm a capitalist. I'm a businessman. I meet payroll every two weeks. All my employees have health insurance. They don't have to. But with success comes responsibility. That's the moral component that must be measured for our country. I'm one of the lucky ones. I come from a middle class family, and now I'm making well into the sevens. But you can't forget where you came from. At my dinner table, my family watched Walter Cronkite. It was almost gospel. The Vietnam War was raging in the 60s. Race was a huge issue. We had the assassination of a president, followed by voting rights legislation, civil rights legislation. It, it was exciting times. And capitalism has gone through world wars, peaks and valleys, but it's the greed, it's the unmitigated greed and the selfishness that can be the demise of any political system. And those of us who are fortunate enough to have success in life, to come from a middle class family, where my mother was a high school English teacher and my father was an aeronautical engineer and worked for the government. Middle class family, I was the last of five. Because I've had success, I should say, you know what? Our taxes are too high at 39%. I should only be paying 25% because I want more. That's the moral rot of the country, not respecting the opportunity that you have been afforded to be free to reach your potential in a capitalistic system and understand your responsibility as you enjoy that success. I take great success. My employees have health care. None of them will go home worried about if they have a, a major health issue that they're going to be bankrupt. To own something is a responsibility. To own your home, you have to make that payment. To own your car, you have to make that payment. To own that business, you have to have some moral compass that is going to bring you to an unselfish decision. Because if we take the old sports cliche, it's amazing what we can accomplish as a team if we're not concerned with who gets the credit. That's, I really believe, the basis of America regaining its position and refocusing and achieving the next generation of science. Now, I think the premise of your question was somewhat, there's something wrong with capitalism. There's something wrong with every political system, depending on how the leaders handle it. What happened in Germany in the 1930s? People got hungry. The agricultural markets collapsed. An extremist came to power because he promised them food and a job and a better life. What if that guy had been a good guy? What if he had thought, let's help other countries do that? What if, what if uh, we didn't have the statesmen of yesteryear, or if, if we didn't have the statesmen today of yesterday if they were parallel in America? We'd have a different country. We wouldn't have Citizens United. We wouldn't have the ideological push to take over the government to concentrate the wealth and select the opportunity for only a few. Now, this is, of course, our challenge. This is our challenge. Education. Don't shortchange anyone. Help all citizens reach their potential. Good schools, good investment in infrastructure, good investment in health care, and all of the things that I mentioned. Workers' rights, equal rights, civil rights, women's rights. Th that made our country great. Those things are being challenged today, the very fundamentals. And that can be done in a capitalistic system. 
One of the things that I think America doesn't do enough of right now is champion the successful. Someone has a good idea, we, we, we have become very negative and very cynical. And I, 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 at times I sound negative and cynical, but these are big issues. I think that, I think that this, uh, this has tentacles to do damage to the country for the next generation. I mean, I, I think that every parent in America wants it better for their kid. I mean, I want it better from, for, for, for our kids and grandkids. I want them to have the best opportunity they possibly can. And I think that we don't do, uh, we don't celebrate enough about the successes that, that people can have and have had because we're so politically divided on how we're going to run the country. And the root of a lot of it is selfishness. We have corporations that make billions of dollars in our country that don't pay any tax, nothing. The special interests have gamed our tax code so much that they can park their money offshore and have no moral obligation whatsoever to give back to the very country that made it possible for them to be successful. And we want to know why we're running deficits? Because somebody in some corporate boardroom made a decision that this is where we're going to park our money and we're not going to pay our fair share of tax in America and we're going to concentrate the jobs and we're going to move the jobs overseas because we don't like the labor, we don't like the health care costs, and that's just profit. No, that's not capitalism. They may want to call it capitalism. That's just flat out selfishness and disloyalty to the country. That kind of operation and modus operandi attitude will never get you a monument in London. Never.